Today's video is brought to you by Game Glass. Game Glass allows you to take control of your ship from a tablet or phone. All the key bindings are neatly divided into well-designed shards, meaning you always have easy access to the exact features you need, regardless of what you're doing. On top of that, Game Glass also works with Elite Dangerous, so extend your cockpit and get the full immersive experience. Follow the link in the video description and try Game Glass for free. If you like it and want more shards and features, you can either buy them individually or subscribe to Glass Pass. Use offer code DTEA and get 5% off your first purchase. Okay. Okay, so retroacting the elevator. You got the elevator up? Yes. Good. Then I'm gonna spool the quantum and we're going for, was it 12.3 million kilometers as a dropout? Yes. Good. Yes. That's the plan. Quantum travel complete. There we are. We got ourselves an asteroid yes. field. Hooray. <coughs> okay, let's uh, go ahead and let's find ourselves some, uh, some continuum. I will go into the right side turret. Okay. Calvin, you got the you got the, I got the left. You got the yep. left, and I'll take the uh, the forward nose turret. Okay, we got three rocks up ahead here. Let's scan, see what we got. Nope. Got two rocks. I'm scanning the right one. Oh, continue. Uh, three low. three percent. Let's check 3. the other 2. one. Check the other one. Three point two. Yeah. Two point. Now let's find something better. Yeah. But we did find continuum. That's a good, uh, good first indicator. Oh, we got twelve percent Bex. I mean, Bex is not volatile, and it's quite valuable. <laughs> you guys want to mine it just for, for yeah. fun? Sure. True. Just to get the hold of it. There we go. So I guess yeah. one of you guys go uh, put it like 50% and the other one does the throttling. So only one should throttle up and down. Okay, I'm at 50. I like the Lancet far more than the Helix, even if it's slower. Yeah, but the, the triggers were reminding Continuum. The Lancet head is super nice because it has that uh, yes. has that stability. You can also see Joe, it hmm? jumped up for some off. reason. I was all the way down to like 11%. Yeah, percent. Just shot up. That's okay. I, shot up. I take the bottom one. It's 30%. Okay, I got one here for 29. I'm gonna clip that open. You just pick a, pick a fragment. This one we could just mine because it's yeah. not volatile, so... Yeah, yeah. Or uh, maybe we can jump uh, further out even. Get another asteroid belt, oh. a million kilometers or so. We might have a problem though, just realized. Um, quantum fuel? fuel? Um, no. Yeah, we didn't we didn't refuel when we get went back. We have 19% oh. quantum fuel. So I suggest we make a quick pit stop. At uh, yeah. see if we can make it back to her L3. Oh, sorry, Crusader. Crusader the one I'm looking for. And do a quick refuel and then head to her L3. Yes, okay. Because I think, Excellent. yeah, Crusader yeah. is closer. Yeah, you should be able to stick out right, right about here. Mm. At little long benches. You're back at the kitchen? I used to you place can. water bottles on it all the time. Ah, uh, yes. True, true, you're right. Did they remove the table in the mess? Yeah. No, um... Hold on. No, is there, is there a button? There, there must be a button and it will come out from the from the floor, maybe? Uh, I've never seen it stowed. Oh, right. It is gone. No, it's, it's, yeah. it's just outright gone. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, because I figured I was just going to sit there for uh, when you quantum. In my experience, going in the direction of this hazy nebula thing um, spawns more signals. Towards the hazy nebula thing? Hold on. Yeah. So you said what direction? The hazy nebula? Yeah. The that's... hazy nebula is everywhere. I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just wondering about to the top a little bit left, further away from to the, the station. Top left, 
Yeah, so to, to the top left, in my opinion. Let, let me check. How can I move the, the camera, the external one? Uh, hold set. And then move the mouse. Ah, uh, yes. So, like this yes, direction yes. here? Uh, yeah, this and... A, yeah, that's quite good. And a bit to the top. That one's scannable. Oh, oh, look at that one. That's a good one. Oh. Okay. 45% continuum. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's get this thing stopped. <laughs> okay, so. So, uh, Two mining heads on 1%, and who who is doing the main job? Will you do it after? Yeah, I, I can take care of the main. Uh, the main. So, if you two guys just start your heads at the. Uh, at like one percent. One percent. I'm just gonna get us like yeah. within within two hundred meters or something, and then stop us. Okay. It's working even on zero percent. Is it? Yeah. Oh. So that saw the window how it increased in size. Oh, yeah. Nice. So just just the fact that that's why the the lancet test is so good because just you sitting with it at zero percent. Mm-hmm. See, it might be a little bit more powerful, guys. I would love to have such a big mining window on the Prospector. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is a little bit more risky on the Prospector because the, the narrow optical window. Yeah. You can do a lot to help it with consumables. I don't have any consumables on this ship at all because you have the three heads. Yeah. Perfect. Well, nice. take yourself a rock and... Uh, the bottom one is trash. Okay, we have five fragments in total. I have one here at 100%. The back one yeah, is trash Another one's too. at 94.12. Yes, you got the only two. Okay, uh, Pio, you can two take value. the one that I'm pointing at the top one. I'll just stay at 0% for the okay. additional bonus. So if you just, uh, if you crack it. Are we done with cracking already? Yeah, I think. Yes, yeah. okay. You only have the two fragments, right? Yes, yes. Oh, there's another one back there. Let's take that one quick. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, I barely, I can barely see it. If you can get a laser on it, I'll... But it's a... Get a laser on it and uh, to, uh, to stabilize it, if you can see it. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna move up and begin okay. to get us ready to depart. Yeah, that's all I can, can take. That's all I can see if there's anything behind those two. I'm just gonna quickly move us over there so you guys can take a look before we leave. Okay. Okay. We should have time. We have an Excel one drive. We're really quick in quantum. Well, it looks like that's it. There is something behind it. No, there is something. Just give me oh, a yeah, second. There is. You got it? I have to target it. Yes. Uh... And it's done. Okay. okay. You can leave. Good. So you can still get, you still have the motion of the ship moving? Yeah, we... No, no, we, we just see you, no. like, oh, picked up, looked at your Moby Glass. We just yeah. see you doing everything, but we're not moving. So if you go into the external... But we can't see him moving the joysticks. We go into the external camera, do you see landing gear being down now, for instance? Mm, let me see. Uh, I have to sit down. Uh, yeah. I'll go away, sit down. No. We, we just see the uh, the ship sitting here. And do you see the ship being powered um, down now? Nope. You are just leaving your seat, Astro? Yep, I am. <laughs> yeah, we see okay, you moving, see. but we don't see there's anything with the ship. That's... I wonder what, what, will, what will this look like now when I go out of the, uh, of the ship to the uh, elevator? Yeah, I'll I'll follow I'll follow you to the elevator. Just wait. Uh, we'll just see space, and you'll probably disappear. I don't know. So I'm with you on the, in the elevator. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. I mean, you still glitched on the. Oh, I okay. see you on the elevator. I'm in the. Okay, you are gone. I'm in the middle of space. So if I'm run up here. Yes, I'm just right next to you. Oh. No, I see you seventy kilometer away. <laughs> Right, right. Now. teleportation. <laughs> okay, 
I am storing the ship. And I'm in the station. I'm in the station. <coughs> it's glitchy okay. as hell, but it's building up. It's loading okay. the station. Okay, station oh, is here. Hello, guys. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> okay, let's go to the... Ref See, save dust the elevator yeah. ride. <laughs> I'm gonna head down to the refinery decks and uh, I'll look what kind of yield we get so we can uh, can share okay. the profit. So we ended up with 1,087 yield for Bex and 3,855 like? yield for the Continuum. So Kelvin gets... Oh, that's, that's wrong. 125,000 alpha UC. Kelvin. There we go. PO plus gets paid as well. Woohoo! Everybody's got oh. paid. Well done. That was a good yeah. rock. We should have started out at, uh, at Hurl 3. <laughs> yeah, but everyone was speaking about the Aaron Hello, so why not try this? Yeah. Out? I've heard that and then every time. Yeah, the rumors are just having that, that out there you should be able to find um, a lot bigger clusters of asteroids with like six, seven, and we did find that sometimes, but not frequent yeah. enough that I think it's it it weighs up for the the frequency of continuum. Okay, so the other the other thing you could do is you have to weigh this up against three people in prospectors flying together in a wing. Which I actually mm -hmm. think is yeah. more useful than this. Yeah, that's what I, I was thinking. Because about, if, yeah. if you instead of flying in a mole, are just three people in prospectors, what you can do instead is you can say when you find a rock, just one per person, everybody helps mining it, so you can still get the benefit of having three lasers that can all add the stability. But but right. only one yeah. person is actually collecting. So once that person is collected, they fly back, they set up the refinery, and then you have like a Google Docs or something if you want to do profit share. Yeah, plus you have yeah. three people prospecting, you can find faster. Possibly. Yeah, and you can find the rocks faster yeah, so than you can, they're more maneuverable. Two people can prospect all the time, and one is basically flying back and forth with the Quintanium. Yeah, I mean, or, or if, if, if the two people left find a rock while the third person is, is running back to the refinery, well, those two people can just mine that Quintanium yeah. rock. And then you just have two people yeah, in transit, sure. and the last person just stays in the belt and keeps looking. And then you just keep coming back for uh, mm -hmm. for more and more and more. How much was the cargo in a prospector again compared to the uh, to the mole? Prospector is thirty two, I believe. Yeah, thirty two. Yeah, prospector is thirty two. And what was the uh, the mole again? So, I think it's ninety six. Ninety, ninety six. Oh, so it's exactly three times. So you yeah. have the exact yes. same amount of cargo as you otherwise would. And you are more far more flexible with three prospectors yeah and and if you ha if you end up with a smaller rock you don't have to send three people back you can send back basically yes. a third of a mole instead so i actually think flying three prospectors is more efficient than a mole mm -hmm. for, for mining that would be fun in the future to try to do uh, a little mining session and the other benefit is it's scalable yeah. so if you're only two per people it still works and if you're five people it still works um you can scale it up and down as yeah. you see fit right Okay, cool. Thanks yeah, for coming along. Let's do that again with Prospector. And yeah, uh, we'll do a test with the, with the Prospector fleet in the future. That'll be fun.